Ready to learn. So this tutorial will teach you how you can watch for changes in a Google Sheets and change, make these changes in your table also um, instantly. So we have this Google Sheets right here, a very simple one. And I'll just create a new scenario here and make. I'll hit this and I'll go to here and search for the sheet module and go to Google Sheets. And we want to use the one called watch changes right here. Now this one, you can just add a new hook. So I'll call this for tutorial. And I'll copy this address. We'll use this just in a moment. Go back to your Google Sheets, hit this one. It should be called something like extensions for you. Um, go hit this one, it should be like add-ons maybe. Um, and then this button. Maybe it's called get add-ons for you. Now in here, you want to search for make. I already have this installed, but it's this one, make for Google Sheets. Hit install right here and then hit escape. Go back into this extensions. And maybe this is called also extensions. I'm not sure what the English version is, um, but it's the first one. And then the webhook URL right here. You want to basically have this to be your webhook URL that you got from your make uh, scenario right here. This module watch changes. So make sure that's that one. Hit save. And save successfully. That was nice. So what we want to do now is we want to make an HTTP and then request. So shows right here. And then we'll be using the module called that was not the right one. Uh, that's my bad. So HTTP, uh, make a request. So the URL we'll get from our bot. So we'll create a new bot right here. And we can just give this bot a name. So we just called it uh, watch changes. You can also do this with an already existing one, but you want to go to this webhook integration and install it to your bot. If you didn't see that, I clicked on this button right here. Um, globe so enable the integration hit save configuration and then copy this webhook url you can just click it to copy it so you want to paste that in here and uh, the method will be post the body type will be raw and the content type will be json so right here we want to create this and say va uh, new value and we'll be using this value we got from our google sheets module and this should also have this around. And then we'll say uh, row, row start. And then we'll be using this road start. All right. So that is all you really need. You have a lot of options here. You, you get a lot of information from it. Um, but for this right now, we'll just be using these two. So we can actually test this. So in our bot right here, we want to go and we want to just quickly set up the webhook trigger. So right here, we'll just delete that. We don't need it. And trigger and then select trigger webhook. And we don't really need to do anything else right now, except maybe having hitting publish just to see that we can actually receive these. So just a second, perfect. So we'll hit run and in our Google Sheets right here, we'll be changing this. So I'll just, I'll just delete the exclamation mark and it should get triggered. Yeah, perfectly. So quickly, we can just see right here that the old value is frostbite with an exclamation mark and the new value is without. Um, so yeah, and this right here, we just have um, this request content and the new value, frostbite and row start. And we should be able to see this in our trigger now. So this color events, and yeah, we can see it perfectly right here. So let me just see. Yeah, this is perfect. So we can make a new node and add this execute code card. 
and in this execute code card we want to type a weight and then oh right we should probably create a table first so i'll create a table right here uh call this question and then call this answer and i just have two rows right here so i'll just manually paste them in uh, but you can also just do a make scenario uh, to basically copy a whole Google Sheet uh, into here. Don't think I have a tutorial on that, but if you want it, just let me know and I can create a quick tutorial for that also. But for me, I just have these two records that I had to paste in, so that was no biggie. Whoops. So right here, I should probably also name it to be honest. Uh, Q and A this has question and answers and it's at a table that's perfect so I'll wait and then our table name for me that's Q&A table then update um, records so this right here because we don't want to add new records we don't want to delete we just want to update the record and then we want to say right we should probably we have to say which row we want to so I can just say uh, const and then row whoops is equals to and then uh, we get it from our webhook it's stored in event.payload.body and then it's stored for us so I had it as row start so I can just quickly copy that yeah, so dot row start and then minus uh, one so yeah and then right here we can say row start and then right here we'll have and then the what did we name it was it just answer yeah just answer this. so that is the one that we want to update so answer and then event dot payload dot body and I think we called it new value yeah new value so dot and then new value now this is giving me multiple errors why is that can't find name all oh, right yeah of course we just named it row um so yeah, this should be fine since we have them right here row start so i can just quickly see so in this one i'll add something else like test go to this one hit this co events just save this one. Um, uh, oh yeah, you might be wondering why we did minus one. Uh, as you can see, this has the row uh, record ID, I suppose you can call it. So uh, a three, but in our table, um, it's only two because we had these. Um, I suppose you could call them like headers or titles. Um, so that is why we do minus one. So it matches the number. Um, but yeah, this cover event, we always save that so we can just hit trigger. Should be able to see it in the logs, and uh, we should be able to see it right here. So, yeah, it added frostbite. Now I can hit publish, and um, we can do a real test as soon as it has published. We can do a test. So, right here. I will do frostbite exclamation mark should catch it yeah perfect so the frostbite exclamation mark and if you go to our table frostbite exclamation mark and we should be able to see it in the logs also yeah as you can see right here answer frostbite so that was really it if you have any questions about this um, feel free to let me know and i will try and help you the best i can Right, see ya.